Anyways, it was at this moment where Big Miles started sniping down at Torrin, who then launched many anvil rockets at this house. Then, fast forward, you see the shattering this place with Big Miles having to have a forced retreat. And Big Miles waiting for Torrin to come up for the, so he can snipe him again. And is still thinking Torrin is back at that at that base. And so he starts shooting back over there. Doesn't pay attention to how Torrin is sneaking around here. So we can see here we have Wild Wolf who has just made it to the POI. And we have now turned off action rolls allowing anyone to do any action all at the same time. Meanwhile, Big Miles is still looking off over distance. I'm still hiding in that bush. And Torrin is actually now in th this area and is staying rather hidden from Big Miles and is waiting for the opportunity to strike. Sneaking in carefully. With Big Miles throwing some airstrikes to try to cover his area, Torrin sneaks around is able to get some shotgun shots at a distance at Big Miles. Revealing himself, Torrin then comes down here. I destroy him with my legendary drum shotgun and immediately run away from Big Miles. I, I, I really don't want to fight any more people than I really had to during this time. But Big Miles now has this whole pile of loot all to himself. Meanwhile, Torin then comes back and does a spawn kill, um, a reverse spawn kill, to Big Miles, and reclaims this, leaving Torin at two at two lives, uh, Miles at two lives, and Wild Wolf at two lives, with both me and Frasity remaining at three lives. But now we have Big Miles return, trying to go back for his stuff against Torin Blackheart here turning it up to times two to speed things along, he makes it down and tries to go in for the kill, but then Torrin gets him again, but I snuck up from behind and got Torrin, leaving them both on their final life. Actually no, that was that was actually Big Miles' final life. Um because Torrin killed him twice and then I and then then his final. And down here on Torn's last life, I am able to get him from that far away with my MK. And I'm able to take all of the guns here that I want. Switching out for the Mythic SMG and all of this stuff. I decide it would be best to run away because I don't feel like having that big of a target. So I go back and I hide in a bush. And I start trying to shoot this down because I think this is actually wild wolf up here this is actually big miles who is now spectating from afar and now if we come over here we can see that wild wolf is hanging up at hanging out up here um and actually sniping at the giant tower as well just like i was um because he thinks it's a person and he thinks it's me actually and frasty is down here who is hiding out just right here. I believe there are some builds here in reality. They are not showing up in the replay, but we have more builds that I believe Frasky is hiding in right now. If he speeds this up, you can see that he actually Anvil rocket launches that platform a couple of times. Meanwhile, I'm making a move over towards that island, and I think he is shooting at me, and so I'm incredibly panicked. But I'm able, I'm just able to make it here. I did lose some health though from um, some shots that were fired because there was a bot that was swimming around in this lake. If we come back here, actually, yeah, you can see here. If we came back, uh, you can see that there is a bot that is just randomly swimming around in in Loot Lake, um, in Camp Cuddles Lake. He finds me, and I have to kill him, which results in me taking damage. And Still unclear on where the bot came from, but all I know is this is when uh, Wild Wolf starts to Anvil Rock Monster that builds and I start to do the rotate. Meanwhile, Frasty is running over into Camp Cuddle's main house, 
for a cover and trying to find another place to lay low for a little bit. Now Wolf Wizard is moving down from his mountaintop and coming in and checking this area just where Frasity was. Good thing they moved in time. He comes and he is searching the POI now with me hanging out still on the island not really wanting to move in into his territory. And this is when we see Wild Wolf spawns in a whole bunch of bots which is because he found a loophole in the rules I said because I said all loot was fair game um, after a certain point but <laughs> previously I said that bots were banned and this um, was uh, incorrect which results in these two getting into a fight and Wild Wolf taking out Frasity in the house. He was going to find them anyways without these bots though because he was already checking all the houses. But the bots themselves were not allowed at this point and so any future bots uh, were, were going to be consider considered cheating on his part. Um, meanwhile in here I rigged up a little bit of a trap with some C4 and an armored wall that I was hiding behind. Just waiting to pull the trigger and sadly no no one seemed to, to come um, and Frasty has come back and is coming for their stuff once more and having to uh, only get some of it because uh, bots took the rest of it they are finally healing up here because the action rolls have been turned off therefore I won't do anything um, Meanwhile, Wolf Wizard coming over here, healing, using up that campfire, and then coming and getting a nice little area where he is safe from any of us. Meanwhile, it looks like Frasity is back and ready to go and to the fight. And we also just declared that we are moving the the final circle over to the fortress. As you can see, I already blew up this area and am on my way there right now. That's along, along with Frasity and Wolf Wizard is tailing behind us. Now of course this area is populated with Dr. Sloan and all of their IO guards, so I didn't really want to get too much involved, but I did find a little way to sneak and hide. I thought I could maybe try to hide up here, maybe no one would notice me, and as you can see Frasity is taking the high ground there, and some IO guards, including Sloan, kind of saw me so I decided I would move farther up up here we have Frasty who's staking out this area and I am now hiding securely down there and the question that we should be asking is where is Wolf Wizard during this time because he should be close by and right now we're able to see that I am back down here hiding securely on the drill with my MK waiting to see when Wild Wolf will arrive. I already noticed Frasty up hiding on the top, but I figured they already died once and they were pretty upset by that. Um, so I didn't want to upset them anymore. We see Wild Wolf is coming around here and coming for the same idea. I take some damage from some uh, IO guards down there, and we see these two do not see each other and are hiding on the exact same mountain. And he is looking for me and an airstrike goes off. I believe I threw that airstrike or someone did down there. Um, and then he just comes around and finds them and is e easily able to take them out and claim all their stuff. Giving only Crafty one more life, Wild Wolf two lives, and me all three still remaining. Because I took damage I rotated down here to this campfire which is technically still in range of the POI from my map I drew up for them. And we see Big Mods just over here spectating, trying to clean up this area for us to have a little bit more of a fair fight in. And we have Wild Wolf who is moving in down from the mountain over into the drill. And this is where he is able to get up to the top. This is where Big Miles actually uh, <laughs> it's almost a decoy where Wild Wolf thought he was a player and then realized, like, a player who was still alive, realized he was. Wild Wolf takes massive damage from fighting Sloan and the IO guards. Meanwhile, I move in and I am hiding right on top and around the sides like I was earlier, trying to stay hidden. This is uh, where Wild Wolf actually died to Sloan and the IO guards who came in here and killed him. Um, so that means he is on his final life, Rassie's on her final life, and I still have all three of mine somehow. 
and see Wild Wolf is coming back and getting his stuff, and I sat here and let him. <laughs> I didn't realize that he didn't already have stuff. I was too scared to go and fight him. And for this whole time here, I'm just nervous about going in and getting him because I don't want to lose any of my lives. But I see him doing this healing, so I come taking the shield, and we get into a little bit of a fight that hurts my shield, and he's still healing up. But I found a clever little way I could sneak in and also heal from his slurp barrel. Meanwhile, he comes out here and he's looking for me. He knows I'm around here. I told him I could still get a slurp barrel, so he was looking around, couldn't find me, and was really close. And I was about to go and jump in and get him when Frasty turns around and shoots me from the bush, killing me and preventing me from getting the jump on the Wild Wolf. So at this time, that Sloan starts to target Frasty and actually really damages them. Um, meanwhile, Wild Wolf over here, having to deal with Sloan yet again. <coughs> he takes tons more damage, and it is at this time, and after I have scared Wild Wolf out of his box with a blue SMG that I just found flying right there, I, I decided to take any heals I could find around this area, some consumables, some fruit, and I went, grabbed the shotgun, and hid behind the hit, heard someone coming, and just one shot, Frasity, taking her out of the game, leaving her as a third place in this competition, and leaving the two final contestants as me versus Wild Wolf. Unfortunately, it was at this time where Wild Wolf's uh, game, he ran out of uh, screen time for his game and was unable to complete the competition. And I thought he was gone because he wasn't responding, but he was trying to get back, but was unable. And this is what resulted in our tie. That's right, we ended up tying for this, and we do not have a proper conclusion on which one of us would have won. Final score was Big Miles as 5th place, Foreign Blackheart as very close 4th place, Frasity as 3rd place, and me and Wild Wolf leaving it off with me having 2 lives and him having 1 life remaining. Who would have won? It remains unclear, but this has been Batboy, and I'm out.